Hey, good evening. It's Monday, July 29th, and welcome back to Everyday Talks 24-7. Great to start another week with you. Tonight, I'm going to start looking at how we break free from pornography. This is going to be more general to get the guidelines for it, because it's very important that we understand just how pervasive this is. I'm going to follow up with some specifics. They'll probably be in addition to uh, other videos I'm doing, but they'll all be available on this current playlist on pornography. If we're going to break free from pornography, we have to have a clear understanding of what is repentance. If you're working with someone, if you're married to someone, if you're dating or thinking about marrying someone who has issues with pornography, listen carefully and closely. If you're dealing with pornography, please listen to what God's Word has to say. The first step is we have to have a thorough understanding of what is repentance. Repentance means completely turning away from your sin, your old patterns, and establishing new patterns of actions, thoughts, and attitudes that bring honor to Christ. Anything less than that will lead you right back into the same mess. In this passage we've been looking at in Ephesians 4, when Paul says, when you follow the ways of the Gentiles around you, when you have lost all sensitivity, picking up a 419, when you've lost all sensitivity, you've given yourself over to sensuality so as to indulge in every kind of impurity, if impurity with a continual lust for more. But then here's the key in verse 20. You, however did not come to know Christ that way. This is an important phrase, an important statement. We have a few translations that say you didn't come to know about Christ that way. That's not accurate. It doesn't say that. It says, come to know Christ. This means turning away from the futile actions of the world around us and all their programs and plans and whatever, and pursuing totally devotion to Christ. This phrase is why I mentioned this. This phrase about learning did not come to know Christ that way. That phrase appears nowhere else in the Greek Bible. It means learning a person. Peter O'Brien's commentary has been very helpful to me in this area. Listen to his comments here on Ephesians 4.20. Learning Christ means welcoming him as a living person, being shaped by his teaching. This involves submitting to his rule righteousness and responding to his summons to standards and values completely different to what we've known before. This is a perfect application for what it means to get rid of pornography, to repent from it and turn away from it. Christ must be learned in actions, thoughts, and attitudes and in relationships. We're talking about pornography because it is so invasive it is pervasive. Those thoughts have, are in your mind. We've got to cut new neural pathways. On one level, this is not easy. Only by this sense of devotion and repentance to Christ can you break free. So because of the pervasive, invasive nature of the sin of pornography, we must embrace this hard task. This is important. It cannot be done individually. You're not going to break free individually. It cannot be done by those who have... Be, you can't get help from the person who is you've betrayed, that is, your wife and your children, or your girlfriend. It's got this person who's going to help you. It's got to be someone who is able to hold you accountable for pornography's exhaustive web. You've got to be totally accountable. In these areas, actions must be totally changed and replaced with new ones. You're going to need help with this. Thoughts must be rewired and new patterns of knowing Christ must be implemented. This is going to include dealing with all the memories that have come up. See, what are the awful consequences and ugly parts of pornography 
is you put these things in your brain and they may last you a lifetime. They may fade, but more than likely they will be there forever. You've got to learn how to deal with them without being conquered by them. So these memories and images and whatnot got to totally rewire me think. And then relationships must be totally rebuilt and reshaped. It's not enough to say, well, okay, I'm not doing that anymore. Don't buy that lie. Don't, don't give that lie to anyone else. Anybody who is, tells you that they don't do it anymore and they haven't gone through a thorough repentance, don't buy it. They may mean well, but they're still trapped by it. It's that ugly a sin. So this means that if a husband has given himself to pornography, he must be held accountable in each of these areas of actions, thought, and relationships by someone other than his wife, someone whom the wife also trusts. This is not pleasant or easy, but it's got to be done. And I repeat, the wife cannot be the primary person to get the husband out of this. This means that if you are dating someone or considering marrying someone who has gotten into pornography, they've got to demonstrate to you that they've been held accountable in these, in these same areas of actions, thoughts, and relationships. And then you need to talk to that person. Because this sin is so debilitating, so invasive, it permeates everything. I'm going to give some specifics and some videos to follow, like I said at the beginning. And I'll probably do them in addition to some of my everyday talks. So, but like I say, you follow up on this playlist and on pornography and they'll all be there. This is huge. Pornography has its tangles all around. And it's crushing our families. It's burning our young men. And it's crippling our children. Repentance has got to be embraced fully. And the only solution is knowing Christ. It can't be, I'm not doing this anymore. It can't be, you know, I've got a computer software program to take care of it. Don't buy any of that. It's got to be this type of thorough repentance. Again, love your thoughts, feedback, questions, and I will be following up on this. Thank you so much for your interest and support. Please, continue to pray. Continue to be vigilant. By following this pattern of repenting and giving ourselves to knowing Christ completely, that's how we break free of pornography. Look forward to your input, and uh, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.